YouTube. It's Brother Dennis. To God I give all the glory. There goes the young birds. They starting to they starting to law fly. They starting to pack up a little bit. Flock up a little bit. Alright. So you see it. It's beginning. The new beginning. 2024. We still got our we still got our squatters. Still got the, the young ones looking around trying to get the barons right. But we got some um we got some packers. There they go. Flockers. So we'll see what happens today. See if we can get 26 out of 26 back in. Right. We're progressing forward. I got uh, two, four, I think six more I'm going to put over here. Then I'm going to close this side down with 30. That'll be actually 32, but, you know, probably lose it. I don't want to say that, but plan on keeping 30 on each side or at least 30 on this first side. So 32, coming in about 32. So I'm going to move six more over. I got 10 ready, but I'm going to give four to Ruben. So... Um, yeah, so I still haven't done anything on my part two side yet, on my second side yet. I, I just, I just haven't had the energy or the motivation, but I'm running out of time because I got birds hatching and I'm probably going to do one more round. Maybe I said this, this is going to be my last round, but I'm trying to come in right around. I was going to come in at 60 because I wanted to loft fly some. One loft, but then I changed my mind. I don't think I'm going to one loft, but then I think I might send three to the, uh, try to send three to the, uh, it's a North Carolina race, Tar Heel Classic. So I might send three to that. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on the money. My money's funny. So, um, I think it's 150 a bird and then it's 300 for the activation per bird. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. So. I'll see, but I don't want to breed up. I don't want to have like 60 young birds and then not be able to race all of them because you're only allowed to basket 25. You know, I'm racing with two clubs. So I don't want to end up with a whole bunch of young birds and then I have a whole bunch of old birds. I mean, I, I, you know, uh, you know, it's it's a tricky thing, man. I don't, I don't want to be that guy breeding 100 birds every year. I think I, my plan was to breed like 40 for uh, club racing and 10 or 15 hopefully to one loft but i decided not to one loft yet i don't want to just waste my money i want to work on proving some breeders out first it's with all the suggestions um people been that i respect like mentor mentor type people i respect their uh opinion and they are telling me that i should club race for a year or two try to see what type of breeders i have and birds i have before i start just donating the one loss so and I, I i guess i agree um first thing i want to do is be impatient so um well that's where we're at i just wanted to do a quick video <clears throat> and show you that um we're law flying and we're starting to um <sighs> what do you call it not range but like uh group together they're starting to group together once I get them all up and all grouped together, then they'll be, um, so, uh, I'm going to add these six this week and hopefully, cause I only reason I'm going to add this six this week is because I still got squatters. Now, if they were all flying together, then I wouldn't add anymore. I would start a new section, but since I still got squatters, uh, I'm going to add the six probably tonight or tomorrow. I'll add them and that, cause I probably won't let my birds out again until this weekend, Saturday or Sunday. So that I'll give them six time to kind of get acclimated to the new loft before I start um, trap training them and settling them. And basically, I just I let the other birds train the new birds for the most part. So hopefully we'll get 26 out of 26 in tonight and then uh, we'll go from there. YouTube, remember, man, you make friends, not enemies. Love one another. And um, yeah, peace and hair grease. God bless you.